Hi guys, welcome to Uptis Cuisine. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make fish, the Cameroon style to bake it. You can roast it if you have a grill, but I'm baking it, but it's simply the same recipe. For a lot of you who message me to send them how to do the spice, the fish and everything, we'll all get it in this one video. So let's get started. I'll first of all show you my fish, how I'm preparing them. So right now I'm taking out how I'm preparing my fish is that I defrost the fish for over four hours. I just took it out of the freezer, put it on the counter and it's been defrosting for almost um, four hours for now, I can say. So the way I'm prepping this fish is this is like the whole fish. This is how you buy it from the store. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear the stomach. I get it out. I get out the gills. And I also get out um, the hard part and also some scales of the fish. I am leaving the fins. It's just natural. That's how we usually do poisson braisé. And so when we bake or roast the fish, it looks whole. So I'll just take out the gills, the stomach, and also the fin. Uh, sorry, the scales. Yeah, this one I already took out most of the part, so I just have to take that off. And we'll see from there so we're just cleaning the fish everything out just have just the flesh and some bones <laughs> so this is how i take out my gills i just cut through the fish sorry i cut through the fish down and get my hands in here get them messy so there we go everything is coming out good Clean and good. The stomach. That's trash. Some of you who have like pets in the house, some people do feed their pets with those. But it's usually good also when you take this out, make sure you take out your trash the same day because this stinks. Yeah. And the whole house will smell. <laughs> okay. So this is a fish made. I'm just going to rinse this and keep. just got the spices ready so what we have here we have green onions this one also is the green onion or you call some people call it the poivron here's the root so I'm using the leaves um, we have white pepper black pepper we have some fennel seeds um, we have garlic and on and ginger we have um, some cumin we have rice spice or we call it anise well anise seeds and we also have some rosemary, granite spice, jangsan. Jangsan is just to add, uh, add some texture. And we also have dill leaves. All of these are the spices that I'm going to blend. The dry spices, I'll have to blend them separately so they can get really, really, really powdery. Then we'll go to the next, the fresh spices. I'll show you how I blend all of them. So I'm just putting all my spices in here to blend the dry spices. I'm using the dry part of the blender so I can blend them all together. Get my blender. My spice is all done for those of you who don't who don't have the wet dry part you can just put everything together you go to the mill and they can just blend all of them for you or you can even use the grinding stone I remember using that lovey 
yeah you can also use the grinding stone to blend all of them do the dry one first then the fresh one or you just put everything together plus the fresh spices to the meal for the fresh spices what i'm doing is that i'm putting them in the food processor i'm not using the blender because i don't want them to be really too done so i'm putting them in the food processor and i'm chopping this longer leaves you can chop it any way you want the deal is you just have to yeah they all go into my food processor plus my onion guys i'm sorry onion the main spice for fish i didn't introduce it welcome onion <laughs> i'm chopping this too and it goes all into the food processor people say when you cut onion you must cry i'm trying not to cry dear onion because i'm not crying for you mm -mm. nah there go my spice in the food processor just turn it on and um guys um as you can see our spices is ready our fresh ingredients so i just added maggi and salt in here and i'm just and you can see the texture that's why i use the food processor because i wanted it to have some texture in it and then i'm adding also the dry ingredients that i blended before so i'm just going to use this mixture to marinate the fish with it and that's my fish and by the way i'll still have to turn off the oven at um, bro that's how i do it bro and it's on high when you do it on high it burns the fish so i'm going to do bro low and i'll just start for those who are doing the fish on the grill which is the best part because you get the char and everything that's the best one you know how you can set your grill and whatever so now i'm just mixing this and I'll fish all spiced up ready for the oven there we go let it unbroil okay guys our fish is nice and brown on one side so now i'm just going to flip this over let me see if i can keep this on. there so we just flip flipping the fish over so we can cook the other side oh bro so it's nice and brown too there Okay, so we brought the other side too, and this might take from anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. The other one took like, yep, 10 to 15 minutes. This one to 10 to 15 minutes. And we will be done with this batch. Then we'll get the other ones in. For some reason. Jesus. 
our pompanos are the next to go into the oven I already spiced them and I popped this guy still on grill pompanos are all ready so we're done with the fish and right now we're doing um, the meander of some boiling it it's almost done too yep those are the ones I already made and I'll be putting them in the oil soon our oil is heating and that's our egg with all the cooking the scotch egg the fish and the meander oh the slices 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 the scotch egg is ready Ayo are fine Ayo are good I don't know if I can't say so say so on Thursday, not on Monday no oh not true